Algebra 2, 1.5a, solve equations with properties of equality. We're going to talk about the addition property of equality and the multiplication property of equality in this video. If a is equal to b, then a and b have the same value. They're equal. They're the same number. They're equivalent. Well, this is an equation. They're balanced on each side. Whatever a is, is what b is. They could both be 2. They could both be negative 10. All acceptable values that replace a and b are members of the replacement set. And the replacements that make an equation true are the solutions for that equation, of course. And the set of all solutions is the solution set. When we've found all the solutions of an equation, we've solved the equation. We could even list all the solutions in braces in a solution set, couldn't we? Well, one way to solve an equation is to turn it into a simpler equation that has an obvious solution set. We can use the addition property of equality to transform equations. So we've got two theorems. Here's our first one. This is the addition property of equality, and it says if a equals b, then a plus c equals b plus c for any real number c. Now, all this means is if a and b are equal to each other, if they're the same number, if we add a third number, into here, then this side is going to equal this side because the a and b are the same number. If a equals b and they're both 2, we can add any number we want to a and b, and it's still going to be that number and 2 more, isn't it? So by using the addition property of equality, each side of the equation is going to stay balanced. It'll be balanced. We can also use the multiplication property of equality to change transform equations. So here's our second theorem. The multiplication property of equality says that if a equals b, and it's the same thing as the addition, except now we've got multiplication in it, then a times c is going to equal b times c for any real number c. So if a is a 2 and b is a 2, if we multiply them by each side of this equation by a different number, they're going to be equal because a and b are equal. And by using this multiplication property of equality, we can multiply the values for a and b, and each side of the equation is going to stay balanced. If we need to use both properties in the same equation, if we need to use the addition property and the multiplication property, we always use the addition one first, okay? We always use the addition one first when using them together in an equation. So we can solve 3x minus 4 equals 13. By using the addition property of equality first, we'll create a zero pair and remove that negative 4. By adding 4 to each side of the equation, we create a zero pair. And we eliminate it. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. But now, because we had to add 4 to this side of the equation to keep it balanced, this side is 17. And this side is 3x. The 3x comes down. Well, we still need to get this x alone. The whole idea behind this is isolating that x, isn't it? So we need to multiply this side of the equation by the reciprocal of this coefficient 3. We flip it around to its reciprocal as 1 third. And by doing that to each side of the equation, we eliminate this coefficient and get the x by itself. So we can multiply each side of this equation by the reciprocal of the coefficient here. We get 3 over 3x and 17 over 3 on this side. And this creates a 1, doesn't it? So now we have that invisible 1 in front of our x. We've got 1x equals 17 thirds. Now we isolated the x. And we can plug this 17 thirds into the equation to check it and see if it comes out. And it does. 13 equals 13. See? 3 times 17 is 51 over 3. And that's 17 minus 4. That's 13. See? And we can combine like terms on opposite sides of the equation by using the addition property. So if we've got a negative 12a on this side and a negative a on this side, and we're trying to get that a to one side, what we can do is we can take away this 22 from this side and take it away from that side to keep the equation balanced. This creates a zero pair here, and we eliminate plus 22 minus 22 is zero. And on this side, because there are no numbers, we end up with 
I'm sorry, a negative a, should have been a negative there, we end up with the negative a minus 22. Now, to get this a over here, because it's a minus a, we can add a to each side and create a zero pair here. See? We could keep doing this if there were a lot of terms that needed to have it done. We could just keep creating zero pairs to get our terms to the side we want. So now we have to add a to this side and we end up with negative 11a on this side because we added 1 to the negative 12. Now we've got negative 11a on this side and minus 22 on this side. So we use that multiplication property of equality to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of negative 11 and it keeps its negative sign even in the reciprocal so we have negative 1 11th we just flip this guy upside down don't we and a negative times a negative makes a positive so we have a positive 11 over 11 that makes our buddy the invisible one again doesn't it so we have 1a and on this side a negative times a negative makes a positive so we have 22 over 11 and that's 2 we could take a equals 2 and plug this 2 into the equation wherever a was to check it, and it comes out that negative 2 equals negative 2, so we got it right. See? Negative 12 times 2, so negative 24 plus 22, that's a negative 2. We isolated the a. And sometimes when we need to isolate the variable to one side of the equation, we have to combine like terms first. So we've got an 8a a negative 2a and then on this side we've got a negative 4a and then we've got a plus 6 a minus 12 and a plus 5 see that so let's combine like terms on this side of the equation first 8a minus 2a is a 6a see we combine these two to get a 6a and on this side we've got negative 12 plus 5 is a negative 7. So now these two made this negative 7. See? We bring down our plus 6. We bring down our minus 4a. And now our equation says 6a plus 6 equals negative 4a minus 7. We need to get the a's on one side and the numbers on the other. So here's a plus 6. Let's take away 6 from each side of the equ equation. Make a 0 pair. Plus 6 minus 6 makes a 0. That cancels out that plus 6, and because we had to take away 6 from this side of the equation, now we have a negative 13. Now we have 6a equals minus 4a minus 13. To get this 4a onto this side, or to eliminate it from this side, because it's minus 4a, we add 4a. Again, we make a 0 pair. We add 4a to this side, we get 10a. Now we've got 10a equals negative 13. And, like we did before, we're going to multiply each side by the reciprocal of the coefficient. And 10 is the coefficient for a. So we're going to multiply each side by 1 tenth. We flipped it around. And we get 10 over 10a. There's our buddy, the invisible one again. See? And we get a negative 13 times 1 over 10 is negative 13 over 10 and we can check by substituting negative 13 tenths as a into the original equation and we'll see that it comes out correctly okay so there's a lot of steps to this just remember to do the addition one first which is actually sometimes subtraction you're just creating a zero pair okay so to get rid of this minus 4 we added 4 to get rid of this plus 22, we took away 22. But remember to do it to each side of the equation to keep that scale balanced on each side of the equal sign. And if you need to do it more than once, then do it more than once. And remember, when you do the reciprocal, that it keeps the negative sign. All right? Our next video is 1.6, and we're going to talk about how to solve simple algebraic word problems. All right? And get the equations written for them. Any of the previous videos for Chapter 1 are going to be in the description of this video, all right? You'll just be able to go in there and click on them and see what you've missed, or do a quick little review if you're having a chapter test coming up, all right? If I had a chapter test coming up soon, I would just watch every video in the Chapter 1 playlist here, 
in the Algebra 2 playlist, and I'd spend a half an hour to an hour watching the videos, and I'd be fine to take the test. Maybe you can even watch them a couple times if you want to get an A. All right? I'll see you next video. Bye.